The Steve Burkowski, Morgan Press with you. Highlights from earlier today. This was the morning 18. Vivian Ho, a birdie putt at the 12th. Yeah, trying to claw her way back after Jensen Castle got to a two-up lead through 11. Yeah, she would cut that deficit in half with that birdie putt. And then how about her second here at 13? Doesn't, doesn't seem too happy with it, but as we've seen so far this week at Westchester, you can use the slopes to your advantage. It's all about missing it in the right place, and that would lead to a birdie. And tied the match at that point. Ahead to 18, Vivian Ho with a one-up lead, her third at the last. I think it's important to go into breakfast, or lunch, excuse me, with a little bit of confidence, and, and here, would take a two-up lead to, into her two-hour break. She might have had breakfast, might have had brunch, whatever <laughs> she wanted. They came back out to the par three first, the 19th hole, and what a way to enter this afternoon for Castle. And the opposite. Jensen sat in there for a couple hours thinking, what can I do to get back in this match? And she comes out swinging. She would make birdie there. The lead now just one for Ho in a critical par putt at the second, the 20th hole of this championship match for Vivian Ho to maintain that lead. The second shot plays up eight yards from where Vivian's standing. She can't see any of the putting surface. She hit her last shot in the rough a little left. This one a good line, but might roll over the green. Got to get down. She does, but it, that is something we've consistently seen around the greens. Her chipping is very fast in her practice, in her practice swings. But she's hitting shots like that. She won't have wow. to chip much Three today. Good ones in a row. How about that, Steve? Yeah, Castle coming out of the gates quickly here. I think anywhere inside 10 feet is a great shot. I take a miracle there. Overall, like you said, that's about as good as she was going to do when she hit it over that green, Steve. That's got to get down. That's still rolling. Pulled Looks it like it's going to be short. Yeah, she uh, pulled that. She concedes that. Just want to hug a little bit on the left side here off the tee. Fairway slope significantly left to right. There's a ridge in the center of the fairway. Ho's going to need to carry it about 240 to get past that ridge. You're right. This green does pitch toward the players, so she will have plenty of opportunity to get this to land soft. Another really good iron shot by Castle here this afternoon. And this plays about five yards uphill, so she's probably looking at a 125 shot to land. a longer break than I would have expected as well. I mean, they played, I think, a little bit quicker than expected in the morning. And there you go. Yeah, it was just a better part of 90 minutes and change. Yeah. Better, an hour and 40 minutes. And I'd be smiling, too, if I was rolling it like that. <laughs> and that's the thing I've noticed the last few days. This girl is very confident, very self-assured. Yeah, I talked to Brian May, the assistant in Kentucky. He's here. He snuck up there to surprise her. He's not surprised she's fighting back. Oda Boar said the same thing about her yesterday. She didn't seem pleased with that, but I think it's probably a three shot, definitely a three shot hole for her now. There's wind coming from the left, which will certainly push the ball right. It's a perfect line. And you'd like to try to keep it up that left, but I don't know if you physically can, Steve, <laughs> that slow. All right, we'll just hang on. She has 252 yards, so not looking to go for the screen, but hoping for a little 50-yard pitch shot. Thank you. It's up there nicely. Nice little angle. You must get this in the fairway. 
And she didn't have the best lie. That bunker is in play. And if that stays right, a bit. And she kind of nestles down into the deep rough, but. Very good. Give yourself a chance. Just three inches. Yeah, a little heavy hit just at the base of that slope and it just slowed her down, but all in all, not too bad. Great view right here. It's going to stay up. Oh, that took some break. Should concede that. Now Vivian Ho will have a putt to win the hole. Gotta go. So Castle will remain one up as they head over to the par three six. You do not want to miss this to the left. This is headed towards the right side of the green. <laughs> not that hill again. Mm. You the home and it's in this so with Jensen on the right side missing the green, just needs to get it on. This has a good line. Oh. Neither player taking quite enough club to flirt with that distance on that back hole location. Just needs to kind of hit that corner of the green, pick a little spot. Green back there just slopes so severely from off the left edge of the green. Didn't quite carry it far enough and kicked well right. So I see her flying this just over the edge maybe, right into it. Not gonna get there, Morgan. Uh, she thought about running up there. And that's gonna come all the way back down towards her. Yeah, there's some there's some dicey hole locations out there today. Well, that got away from her. Got another knee knocker coming back. I think that's what she needed to do there. It's for Bogey to tie the hole. <laughs> to your point, oh, she'll let you know immediately <laughs> if it's good or not. A little doubt in the way she thinks it's going to be. Let's see how the kick is. Uh, it's soft. Beautiful shot. Stand one of those little sand divots. There you go. Good angle coming in there. That's not with that hump, just short of the whole location. Started yeah, out at that oak tree. I think she likes it as well. <laughs> we'll be in home now, Amelia. There's 120 yards. 115 will get over that bunker. Got the kick, but it's going to come off the green just like Jerry Fultz said. Did not carry far enough. That's going to get all the way down to that second level and a very, very difficult two putt. Long and left, then it looks like from the fairway. Expect this she ball needs to, to trust that. Yeah, expect this ball to be past the hole. Not by much. Wow, what a good looking shot. She's dialed in. This ridge that she's putting up is really going to push the ball to the right. Should go right. Oh, wow. Oh. Well, there you go. That is nice. That was not easy to judge. She's got to stay up. That was not her best effort. And especially with her natural cut, this wind is left to right. There's only so far left she can take this line. I do think it's interesting that both players in this final play a little bit of a cut. 
She told me during the break, I said, what did you do? She said, I foam rolled, I rolled my hip, made sure it was going to be ready to go this afternoon. This is right at the flagstick of it's the Nuff Club. This is looking pretty good. That one to stop quickly. Yeah, that was well judged. Got it. That was a great effort. She missed it, but she didn't leave it too far by. No, that was an excellent roll there. Gave it a chance. Just barely missed on the high side. No work remaining. Which, next to make it, it's the most important thing. At this juncture of this champion. She gets it up that fairway, gets it up the right side. Down grain, she could get there in two. That's actually drawing. That's a little different shot. We've seen her hit. Got past the bunker, but I don't think she, I think she missed hit that one. The wind has picked up on this tee shot. Not sure if she can get up past that hill where Jensen's ball is. She gets it up on that upslope, it's going to come back a little bit. It's already the, kind of the normal place where everybody kind of hits it. All world. All world right there. That's elite. That's impressive. She can land this seven paces short of the hole. It should skip really close. Caught the drop the toe of the club, needs a spin. Oh, beautiful shot. Had to be aggressive with Castle on the green and two. That's a nice wedge shot. That's got to go. Yeah, I just, it's just not as fast. It's never got it going. Maybe a miss hit on that to leave it that far short. Possibly swing it, flip it. Look like you had the advantage. Oh. Gotta be disappointing. Little uphill putt here. Don't think it's outside the hole. Oh my! Got it outside the hole. That was a chance to cut the Castle's lead. Castle through 27. She's two up. That's on a really good line. If it can stay left of that greenside bunker. She did yesterday evening. Just need to hit a wedge close. Yeah, Vivian, much more of a methodical player. A little bit more, I don't want to say thoughtful, but she has the game plan and she sticks to it. It's really critical to get some birdies here rolling on this back nine. And we have talked about patience, though. You know, Vivian was. There it is. I mean, Vivian was two down through 11 on the front 18 and ended up two up. Maybe become the next Jensen Castle. Jensen had a great look at this ship here. This, to me, was makeable. Oh. And it's a great, great roll there. Oh. But for the fourth time in about... 24 hours, Jensen Castle makes birdie at 10. And for the second time in this championship match, that hole tied with birdies. A little 
little draw off this tee yesterday, and that's drawing as well. That needs to get up into the shortcut, and it doesn't. That nestles down. It could get a little dicey. Yeah, left side is about 260, but plays downhill about 15 yards, and that's going up the right side, and that's a knuckleball, 74 feet apex. All right. If you hit it in that false front, it will hit just a little short. That's going right, looks like she hit it. Depends on the kick. No, oh, that is a huge kick. That, oh, that's going to be so difficult out of that bunker. You've been better off in the rough. That rough has gotten thick throughout the week. That didn't come out very good. Oh, she got a huge kick, Steve. Wow. You try to win this championship, you can play extremely well, Morgan, but you're gonna maybe need a fortunate break along the way, and I think Jensen knows she got it. Keep it as far left as you can because that will knock a little bit out and a little bit more room if it is going to run. There's the run. Oh, gotta get up the hill. It's almost. Oh, that was nearly a great shot, but as Jerry said, it's just so hard getting up that slope. Yeah, you saw her smile a little there. I think she. There's a longer. Oh, wow. Did she? Very good. Yeah, and being three down at this point in the match, I mean, not that it's insurmountable, but start running out of holes. That's got to go. And a hopped on her coming yeah. off her putter face. Solid stroke there. And, and even if she were to lose this hole, that's solid for confidence. Oh, yeah. This is to go three up in the match. She did. That's a confident stroke. She is rolling right now. Three up. Take some deep breaths, settle yourself down. And I think that is also a good point in the importance of having a, a good caddy on your bag. She has friend Tom who's on the bag and has already mentioned he tries to talk her, calm her down a little bit, trust in herself. But if you could have that teammate there out with you on the golf course to help you out in these situations, it makes a big difference. That drive getting, it's one of the furthest drives we've seen so far this week. We mentioned earlier, three down, in the match right now is a little bit of a danger zone. It's easy for your mind to start racing a bit. This is headed a touch right. <coughs> Vivian not able to cover that crest. So it doesn't get nearly the release that Jensen was able to get. For her confidence and to put pressure on her opponent, needs to get this one closer on the green. This a little low and right, similar to this morning. And the same miss there, Amelia. Just off the downslope, she's not able to get the height. Doesn't stay down and through it with the fairy wood. Just a bit short here. In front of the green is a great look here for Eagle. Two quality shots by Castle. Of how far back you need to take it for the distance that she's trying to cover. Boy, about, is just that about good. that. Just about that wow. distance. Never give up, right? <laughs> that was not just good. That was spectacular. <laughs> that would be interesting. That would be very interesting. We've seen her hit this chip shot a lot from just barely off the green. Yeah, she just like dubbed it into the ground there. I don't know, I feel like you can have a little bit better control with the putter. She's, it's not that long of a shot. Wow, what a huge turn of events right there. That sort of quick stroke, Morgan. And that's, and that's match play. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't a great stroke, but all the pressure was on her there as it looked like she was gonna win the hole and she ends up losing the hole. As Vivian wasting little time on the tee here, Jeff. Trying to get up that left side. 
Yeah, just splitting the bunkers here, exactly what you want to do on this hole. It's a good drive. She has got a little bit of momentum going right now. I'm, I'm, I'm with Morgan on that last one. She is, and after that last hole, she just needs to refocus, know that she is playing great golf. Yeah, that's an aggressive, confident swing. There you go. That's what you want. Got to love that. That's the way to bounce back. Absolutely. Hit it to about six feet in the morning. A beautiful shot. Just use that left slope as Jerry showed. There's the left slope. And there's the result. Solid shot there. Borster, head coach of Kentucky, says she has spent the last year or two dialing in these wedges to get them precise yardage. That is way short. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if that was a bad number or just bad contact. Bound to happen. She, it's been such a long week. She tends to take that inside. She takes that inside a lot on those chip shots. And that's, that's, it's tough to chip that way, especially trying to get it out of that rough. The last 20 minutes, there's been a huge momentum shift in this match. Never got it high enough. It's a little quicker on that routine as well. want to give her any more confidence than she already has. Got it now. Yeah! That's a fist pump. That's it. And that's why you would have given the putt. That's why I would have given the putt, because she's not going to three putt. She probably knows the number she needs to hit. Will it stay? That's the exact same place she was this morning, so dial it in in these next few holes can't continue to let it slip away wait for it all right should that might, no, that maybe might funnel all the way back off the green oh, oh. my goodness oh, oh, i think if she can just cozy it on up there with that good momentum she's feeling put the pressure on Castle. Oh, hit it and she makes it. That was just another short, quick stroke. Pushed it out to the right. Just under pressure, the tendency is that things get quick. Vivian Ho now, and she is ready to go. Yeah, she wasted no time walking up to this tee box. Now this is headed a little more left than she would like. She Needs to sit down. Not as far left as she was. That's the thicker part of the rough. Yeah, I'd like to get down a little bit lower. I'd take, pick a spot out there, visualize the shot, and hit it. I'd simplify this as much as you can. That just depends on the kick. It got through the tree. Wow! That is a huge break. She got a great kick back at the 11th. It kicked onto the green, and that went through that oak tree. Just short. Didn't quite come out of there. It's just so thick. It's not really tall. It's just thick right there where the sprinklers get to it. It's been their uphill shots. This is one of the few that's down on the par threes play down. This is on a really good line, just right of the hole. Oh, beautiful shot. Great control there. Yeah, she's got a chance for her. There you go. She's kind of calmed herself down. Back in her. Got a break going through the tree. Phil Rogers said, get it on the ground as soon as you can. <coughs> she just pulled that. Never played the break. Was well judged in the distance, mm -hmm. but came out well left of what she was looking for. Go. Wow, that was a good putt. Pollock did everything but go in. Well, four's a good score, but man, another roll. She'd have made it. Wow, tugged it. Man, this has changed. This has been a tough, long day for him, but Jensen Castle, two up. 
She definitely does. She's taken a lot of grass out of this golf course, but it's a part of her routine and she's sticking to it. Yeah, very solid there. In that position, great shot. I have no idea. Soon to start winning some holes because she's running out of them. Don't want to get too greedy though and bogey it. That's that fine line, but I think she's got to go right at it. Great shot. She did just Great. that. <laughs> what an answer. So both players on the green here at 16. Castle with that two up lead, three holes to go, getting perhaps closer. Tracking Morgan. Right online. Oh, oh yes. Oh, what a clutch putt that was right there. Excellent stroke from Vivian Ho. Now Vivian has that momentum. Now it's heading up to the right side. Might need a little bit of a kick to the left. He's with the left kick. All right, kept short of the bunker. Key here is get it in the fairway, avoid those fairway bunkers. Probably more in play for Castle up on that right side. The wind has kicked up a little bit. Oh, is that any good? It almost looked like she had a little smile of confidence there before setting up to that tee shot. What a rip. That changed at 15, no doubt. Now executed. Darren it. Beautiful shot. Well played. This is that green light zone. You wanna you wanna get one in there close. Yeah, you got the backstop behind it if you want to use it. More up on the right side, it'll spin back more. Two quality shots right there. Well played. Yeah, nicely done. Well played for good chances for Birdie. Take the break. You're right. This didn't have as much break. It's a good putt. There he is. Your champion of the 121st U.S. Women's Open Amateur. What a putt. What a match. Thank you. Dreams do come true. The 63 seed. Thank you, Steve. I'm here with Vivian Ho, who had an incredible run. I know match play is so tough and is so emotional, especially with your sister and your coaches and your friend on the bag. But I wanted to ask you, what are your key takeaways from this incredible week? Um, I mean, <laughs> you know, I had feel really bad hole and then you know feel really bad shot so I definitely will learn from it and then you know sometimes this is golf and really looking forward to what's next for me and congratulations to um <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah congratulations to the champions and she played really well yeah well everyone here is so proud of you and we wish you the best of luck going forward Thank you so much. You seem like you're in disbelief right now. Yeah, it has not registered at all. I mean, it was just another match, like fairways and greens. It's all I thought of. And here I am holding this heavy trophy. And maybe the most beautiful one in all of golf. You said maybe, uh, you just told me moments ago, maybe some of the reason for your success is because you came in here with zero expectations. That is definitely one of the reasons why. I didn't even think I'd make the cut, didn't pack enough clothes, and here I am re-wearing the same outfit and making it to the final day. And the same golf ball for what, seven rounds now? It was five rounds, same golf ball. <laughs> All right, well, congratulations. I know you're driving home sometime tonight, and you have to be to work on Tuesday. You're going to be a different person when you get to work on Tuesday. Congratulations. Thank you so much.